I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is what is a tree? What is a tree? We're going to start over here on the left, take three fingers in the middle and put a dot. And from that dot going up, we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line up and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, slightly wavy line down, out, and leave it floating. Now we come inside by our dot and we put two fingers and we put another dot. Now, going towards the right, we draw a wavy, wavy line up and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, wavy, wavy line down, and leave that floating. Right about here, we're just going to draw slightly wavy line, jump over, slightly wavy line, leave it floating. Come inside and we're just going to put a dot on the left and we're going to draw a wavy wavy line V down wavy line V up and leave it floating. Now starting over here on the left we're just going to draw a curve line wavy line, curve line, wavy line up, over, connect. Come on the right hand side and we're going to draw a wavy line. Bam! It crashes into that. That's okay. Jump over a little bit. Continue your line. Wavy line out. In. Over. Connect. Come inside this space and we're just going to mimic these lines going down. We'll talk about all this in just a minute. Let's get it all drawn. Going down. Going down wavy lines. Okay. Come up to this space, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line down, up, connect. Little straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Curve line out, in, connect. Come right above it, put a dot, and we're going to just draw a curve line down. Come back to the dot, Curve line down, up, connect. On this end, we're going to put a little straight line one, little straight line two, put a dot, wavy, wavy line. Okay. Now come over to this side, the right side, right about here. We're just going to draw a pretty good curve line. Come inside, curve line, little curve line, dot, dot, little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. Come over here, we're just going to draw a straight curve line, zigzag, zigzag, and connect. Inside these spaces, we're going to fill in with curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come above, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, connect. Jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. One more, one, two, three curve lines, connect. And a little one right here, curve line, curve line, connect. All right. Now, when I come upon something that is important, I'm going to draw a baby circle. So right here in the center, I'm just gonna draw one, two, three baby circles, and I'm gonna put the word air because trees help us with our air. What is it about the air? I'm going to put a baby circle over here on the upper left, and I'm going to write the word oxygen. 
Oxygen is the air we breathe, and that is helped by the trees. Put another baby circle, and what do they do? They absorb carbon that's in the air. So trees make a difference in what we breathe and how we breathe the air in our environment. Now over here on the left, I'm going to draw a baby circle. Baby circle. And trees also help with food. Baby circle. Shelter. Baby circle. And habitat for wildlife. And that's why we drew our bird and our little squirrel over here and food we threw in an apple. Okay. Now, because trees are really tall, woody plants, they usually have a stem. This is the stem, baby circle, and the stem is the trunk. Okay, now this line right here is our baseline. Everything below, baby circle, are roots. And the roots of trees are very important because they stabilize, stabilizes all the soil and baby circle. It helps stops flooding. So trees are very, very important for our environment. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color in with blue-green turquoise all of my baby circles. And I chose turquoise to represent the air, the oxygen that we breathe. So these little baby circles kind of stand for oxygen and carbon and air in general, but they also designate on your tree something that's important. Next, I'm going to take, I went through my crayon box and I found two browns. So I'm going to take the first brown and do the deep lines on my trunk that also go underground and become part of the root system. So these are all parts of the tree trunk, but also the roots that come down below the land. So that I know that is underground, I'm going to take my green and take little tiny baby straight lines all the way across so that you know this is above ground and this is below ground. Then with my regular brown, I'm just going to color in my trunk, which is really the stem, if you think of a tree, as a woody plant. Okay? So this is really the stem of a part of a plant that really is the trunk of a tree. Then, once you get towards the bottom part, I'm just going to take my brown and go next to my other brown so that you know these are roots underneath the soil, okay? Then, I'm going to take my dark green, or I should say my regular green, and I'm going to color in my leaves up here and what they do is they say that a tree has a crown of leaves and that's basically this whole part of the tree and it doesn't matter what kind of tree it is to have that crown they all look different but they might all still be called the same okay so I'm using my regular green for that a little bit of green over here on my apple and I'm going to color in my bird yellow just so you can see him real good I'm going to color in my stem of my apple 
color this in red. Come back over and with black I'm going to color my space right here. And now I'm going to take my apricot and color in the fur on this little guy. You know, don't forget trees not only give us food like apples, but they also provide a habitat and shelter for birds and little and animals. Trees are very, very important. Then I'm taking my yellow green and I'm just going to loop de loop around the crown of the upper part of my tree. Or I'm taking this green and I'm coloring in this space around the trunk of my tree. Okay? Okay. What is a tree? All right, let's see how this looks all colored in. Okay, here is my tree. Trees are some of the largest and oldest living things on earth. Some trees live for over hundreds or even thousands of years. Think of the banyan tree on Maui that got saved from the fire and is still living. Okay, bye bye.